Logic model, theory of change, log frame, or results framework. Have you heard of them? If not, don't worry. These terms might sound technical, but they are just a different way of planning and measuring the impact. So what's the point? The point is that many get this. Let's cut through the noise, and so you can be on the faster path to making an impact. Depending on who you ask, they may favor one approach and dismiss the other one. But in reality, these frameworks are like blueprints for your house. They are just the references for what you kind of what kind of house you build. But once you start building it, the plan will continuously change. So depending on who you ask, they may favor one approach and dismiss the other, but it is it's like a religion, you know. Somebody says, oh, I only do log frame and don't do the log frame, logic model or the theory of change. Well, really, ultimately, what's the bottom line here? We only use log frame because we are from monitoring and evaluation work? No, there should be, there should, people should be very flexible about what the real reason why these frameworks are designed. Some people say, I only use theory of change and I don't prefer logic model approach. It's just like another religion. And this other religion doesn't matter. Most organizations spend months developing them, sometimes even a year, and make very impractical in most cases, just to satisfy the grant writing process. And even after that, you start using to collect the data, they're often misses by mark because oftentimes they design the framework with metrics which are not very practical or useful in nature. The real purpose of framework is to listen to the stakeholders and understand what outcome has been achieved. Many of the framework don't have and have that thing in thing. In fact, guess what? 99% of them even do not reach the data collection or sometimes even if they do, they don't have a true outcome in place. So this is not a one-time process for grant raising. This is a framework so that you can uh, use that to understand the program's impact better. So, let me share the secret formula that will put you on the fastest path to impact, helping you tell your story to the funders and communicate your impact framework without wasting hundreds of hours so far. The best part, once you learn this thing, you will never go back. You can continuously scale your social impact mission and apply it to every event and programs and collect data first and then analyze immediately. Say goodbye to the outdated evaluations that can take months and cost a ridiculous amount of money. Here are the seven clear, effective ways to define the data collection. Analyze it and build an impact framework that makes sense and no matter which one you use. Step number one. So after working with hundreds of organizations, we found that designing the effective statement and collecting actionable data from primary and secondary stakeholders is key. Most likely, you want to start with the primary first. Define the key activities, usually the one on that, for example, training program or mentoring program or coaching program, whatever that may be. Focus on key outcome and learning you want to do from primary st stakeholders. That's fourth, design the mixed model with lean questions that provide best unbiased insights. This is the, perhaps the most important advice you heard today. Start with the closed ended questions followed by open ended questions. Why? I'll talk to you in a future video, but fundamentally, it's a great way to getting ins unbiased insights coming from the stakeholders. And we have several videos on really what kind of value can, you can derive with this kind of approach. Number five, add impact dimensions that can be useful in slicing and dicing the data. For example, demographic, race, ethnicity, income level, education, whatever that is important to you in really analyzing the data. And now you are ready to collect effective data and automatically build actionable framework. This framework, whether it's a log frame, logic model, theory change, results framework, it doesn't matter, will be precise. And you can build this thing with that AI-based approach. And we have that, some of the GPD available that 
that doesn't take a whole lot of uh, time at all. Use SuperExcellence to analyze your result with single click. This is this massive time cha uh, saver. It will transform uh, your months of work into the minutes, preparing to share the story to the funders. That's like magic. Every time that you have event, you collect the data, you can analyze them. Col event, collect the data, analyze the data. Keep preparing cycle for every event and not wait for months and months to collect and transform and translate the data. That is so yesterday. So those are the seven approaches that we have so far. The logic model is like a road, road map that you start with activities and then consider the inputs, outputs, outcomes, and impact. Guess what? With SOPEC AI GPD, you can build this thing in a very short time. And we'll, if you are SOPEC Science customers, you can get it for free. The change is like telling the story of your program. You outline your goal, map out requirements, required outcomes, plan for interventions, and make assumptions and draw the pathway to this, show the connections. Log frame is detailed plan with the structured sections. You start with the, your goal, define purpose, outline out, output and activities, and include indicators and means of verification. In summary, whether it's a logic model, theory chain, log frame, Results framework, they all aim to map a journey from activities to outcome and impacts. Each offers unique perspective, but focusing on ensuring the, our efforts to lead the meaningful change. So stop wasting months building indefensible work, uh, frameworks, focus on practical data collection, build evidence and communicate your impact. And it's not like rocket science. People just make it in that way. So does that make sense? Still some questions? Well, sign up for Super Excels today. And start building your roadmap to measure impact. Focus on what you can control and continuously listen to stakeholders ready to revolutionize your impact measurement. Visit Super University to get started today. Thank you.